Hi, this is my review of the Infinity ductless heat pump system that I got installed in December. It is currently March 24th, 2019. I got four of these 12,000 BTU heads and two 24,000 BTU uh, pumps. Um, unfortunately, it's it's been uh, not very nice. My energy bills have gone up. I used to pay $500 a month in the coldest parts of winter, and currently I'm paying over $600 a month in increased costs in electricity, as well as an additional $200 for oil because these don't make enough heat when it goes below zero Celsius. The weather here today in Halifax, Canada is a current sunny 8 degrees. Uh, I've left my heat pumps on uh, 80 degrees Fahrenheit um, and it just doesn't produce heat. So just to show you this one head that I have in the living room here. The main floor of my house is approximately 1,000 square feet. It's a three-story Cape Cod, and I have two of these 12,000 BTU heads on the main floor. And in the living room, as you can see, it's been set on 80 for over a week. I usually have it at 78 or 80, and it just doesn't bring the heat up. So as you see, it's a beautiful, sunny spring day here in Halifax, Canada, and it's currently 8 degrees outside. And here's the temperature we have in the house. 69 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's just been really disappointing. We bought this system because they told us it'd bring our energy heating costs down. And it makes as much heat as if I bought a $50 space heater really disappointed um, I'm in talks with the carrier manufacturer to find out why the system is not working as their advertisements claim why my energy bills are so high why it's not uh, giving me any heat in my house um, this has been an ongoing issue since December of 2018 we're now in March 2019 and they're still looking into it and yeah it's I the systems cost me uh, a lot of money uh, almost eighteen thousand dollars and it's just been a great big headache so this is the carrier infinity system and this has been my experience